Dear brothers and sisters of this beautiful planet. I am a crystalline being. I exist in almost the entire territory of the planet. We are immense. We are small. The closer we get to the surface, the more we break down, so that we can emerge and allow you to have us, to possess us. I'm not going to comment here on the greed that has taken place in our kingdom over time, destroying thousands and thousands of us. Many of you wonder if the simple fact of mining us, breaking us, dividing us, generates some kind of karma for you, but for the use of our energy. That's what we exist for. Everything on this planet has a function. It's like every vegetable that grows to feed you. Each vegetable was carefully created by God the Father or Mother and cultivated by Gaia to provide them with food. Then you can eat it, you can use Gaia's soil to provide your food. The same goes for us. You can mine us, you can break us, you can possess us, because that's our job, to be with you as protection, as strength, as help against negative energies. But I would say something very important. The bond with us cannot be created. It can't come from a single will. It has to be a two-way street, that you want to possess us and that we want to be possessed by you. So it's not up to everyone listening to me right now to rush out and buy a crystal just because they heard my message. You have to hear the call. You have to feel it in your heart, the connection, the link. Each of you will have the right moment or not. What does it mean if this connection never happens? That for some reason you are not ready for it, it's not the time yet. And then we'll remember that you've had many lives, that you've walked a long way on this planet. What's more, you've walked on other planets where we exist too. We are everywhere in the universe. So, if there is no call from us, there is something there to be dealt with, there is something to be understood. If you're interested, find out why, deal with it and the connection will be made with us. Otherwise, no. Many of you have a house full of our copies and think you are doing a lot. I would say that they have stones, just stones. Because there needs to be a connection so that we can actually act. We're not such inferior beings for you to dominate us, for you to take us, give us a job, and make us do it, simply because you asked us to. We are highly evolved beings. It doesn't matter where we are in the chain. What matters is that if there is no connection with us, you can ask as much as you like and we won't do anything. We're not here to serve you. We are here to unite, to be one before God the Father or Mother. We have one function or several. Yes, we can, as long as there is a connection. And how do we know if there's a connection with us? By listening to the heart. That's the first step to finding out if there's a connection. It's looking at each other with your heart. It's about feeling us with your heart. If these attitudes are taken, you will certainly know if there is a connection with us or not. Muatos, Muatos se sir priendarao, poi saberao ke nao pasu m esta conexeo. But we are bringing you all this awareness at this time so that you can find out why and take new paths, and new attitudes. And then they can have our connection. Don't have us for decoration. We know that many of us are beautiful. But this is a form that we don't like to be, an ornament. Because we open our guts, we allow ourselves to be broken, to be extracted, not to be an ornament. We want to be extracted, yes, but to have a connection with you, to help you, to protect you. Don't use us as decorations. Of course, you didn't know any of this. It's new information coming in. And there will be many more to come so that you can start looking at the world you live in differently. Respecting all the kingdoms, respecting every element on the planet's surface. You have us as valuable items. We have no value. Value was given by man so that you could exploit us, and destroy us. We have no value. But it will be up to you, on your journey of evolution, to understand this. To look at ourselves only as crystals as evolved and powerful beings. Because we are powerful. You don't know a thousandth of what we're capable of, what our nature is made of. Don't use us as decorations. What will you do? Listen to your hearts. 
each of you needs to let go of a lot. And, over time, you will need to leave beliefs, habits and customs behind so that you can effectively evolve. So start looking at us only as crystals, as a living being, who exists, not to serve you, like some slave, but to protect you and help you, if our connections are created. We ask for respect. We ask for love. And every one of you who holds us with respect and love, it's because the connection has been made. Because you look at us with admiration, because we are beautiful. And all of you who look at us with admiration, whose heart beats every time you see us, it's because the connection exists. And the moment our eyes meet, the connection intensifies more and more. Of course, we don't have human eyes, that's one way of explaining it. We want to be everywhere in the house. We want to be in every corner. As friends, as guardians, and protectors. But don't forget about us. We have limits too. We need to sunbathe to wash ourselves, to cleanse ourselves of all the dirt we've taken from your homes, from you. So create a routine. Bathe us from time to time, dry us in the sun. That's it. You don't need much. Because once we've been given a role, we'll have that role forever. Look at us as if we were your pets, which you need to bathe from time to time. So bathe us. Katakomoto, Umaves. Evosis terra osuas casas semper illuminatas e protegitas. Rest assured, we are pure love. But we like it when you treat us with love. And you tend to forget us. But we're happy anyway. Because this was the job given to us by Gaia, by God the Father or Mother, to protect and help them. And we will be an important part, a very important part, in the whole process of the ascension of this planet.